Oh, there's really a lot of things to like see and observe. Oh, what is that? Is it more masarap than this? <laughs> Jessica Soho was here. Wait <laughs> for my vlog. Hey guys, it's Jessica here, and welcome back to another Pabuito episode. And today's episode is gonna be a bit more special than other episodes because we are at Quiapo! Quiapo is famous not only for its market, church, fortune tellers, but also different merinderia. Huh? <laughs> merinderia. <laughs> Merienda plus carinderia. So, merinderia. <laughs> So yeah, let's see what kind of little to big food we can have here in Quiapo. Yeah! Alright guys, asking time! No, I don't know. I'm always on a diet. Ah, with JD? Yeah. Ah, you guys are on a diet together. Yeah. So why are there so many people in Quiapo again? Church market in Friday. It's really um busy in Quiapo, and I feel like there's everything here. It's kind of like Divisoria. You can find everything here. Hello po. Ada last kayo dito po sa Quiapo. Alam mo ba mga food dito sa Quiapo? Kainan. Kainan. Kalendaria. Merienda. So tangan kasi dito lang sa bibig. So tangan. So tangan. Sa ano lang sa ilig lang ng pagdeta. May mga buto na kasama sa pagtapo ko. There's bones in sotangon? Soup. Sa soup. So it's tastier. Oh, favorite yan kuya? Marami kong makain doon. Oh, really? Sa kiyapo? Oh, tabo. Oh, at saka masarap? Dito lang sa mixing band, tapos papuntang SM. I was gonna say guys, kiyapo also kind of reminds me of Hangjang Market a bit. It's the huge marketplace in Seoul where they have different food gathered in there from traditional Korean food to dessert. But that one is an indoor area, but here it's outdoor, but it's parang that vibe, how they have different little stalls. There's ukai, clothes. I wonder what it is, the candle? What's that for? Wishing candle? You know, there's a lot of glasses shops in here. Maybe because a lot of seniors come? Oh my god. Okay, where's the Sotang one place? What is this? SM. What is this? SM. SM. This is the first SM. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, here, original sotangon, only sabaw. Where is my vlog? Really like the Gwangjang market. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Asa, do you come here a lot? Bro? Yeah, every Friday. You like their sotangon? It's sotangon, the best part. Okay, let me try it. Okay, guys, so this is their sotangon. It's really hot. And this place just looks like an OG vibe place. How it's structured, it's my first time coming into this kind of place, this kind of eatery, and I love it. It's really parang hangjang market. It's in Korean palenque, this is also the vibe. Sorry, Ate, Ate, you can. Yeah, no, no, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Yes, Nana, with the minis. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. So this is overload with meat. When you say sotang hon, it's this noodles, right? It's not this dish. It's my first time seeing this kind of sotang hon dish, actually. It's like soup, there's sotang hon noodles, there's some veggie, and there's a lot of meat. This one looks like beef brisket. It's not the typical pork or chicken also. And there's egg. Nutrition-wise, it's very good. Really good. Really, really good. I don't know how to describe this flavor, honestly, but it's definitely something everyone has tasted before. The soup base is like. Bulalo. That's why they put beef brisket instead of other parts of meat, I think. But then there's this a bit nutty flavor added in there, like something similar to palabo flavor. What I'm really shocked about right now is that usually if it's like outdoor and stuff, it might smell also and stuff, right? Because it was exposed out really long. Very fresh. The meat, it doesn't smell anything weird. It's really good. And then what I like, it's served very hot. Yeah, very good. Mm. Mm. Okay, I now figured it out. So in Korea, there's also a food called Barbie Tang, which is like Korean bulalo. And they put sotang hon noodles in there. And that's my favorite part, because I like to like slurp the noodles along with the bulalo soup. This one has a very deep beef broth. And this soft sotang hon noodles just fits perfectly. Mm! 
It's so warm. The flavor is really good. It's very, very simple flavor. Nothing complicated going on here, but it's like my soul food. It's like my comfort food. This is really good. Really, really, really good. Up there. Gano katagal po itong stock? 33 years? Good there. How many years, Suki? 28 years old, but my anak Oh my god, you came? Before your anak was born? Really shut up. How it's served hot and the quality of the beef and knowing the whole thing is just 75. A very good mura meal. Like I come here every day for a nice morning breakfast. You work in SM? Yes. Oh, so you know Kiapo very well. I'm looking for pinaka masarap na pakain dito sa Kiapo. Excellent. Chinese food. Chinese food? Anong pakain? Kikiam and ham. Kikiam and ham? Dito sa Kiapo? Masarap? Sobrang masarap? What's your pangalan? Excellent. What should I order there? Kikiam nila. Kikiam? Kikiam? Compared to yung mga street kikiam. Kasi madami kikiam. Iba yun? Really? Compared to street food. Yeah. Really good? So how is it different? Ingredients, yeah. But our usual kikiam that we have is small. Yeah. Very malaki. Oh, malaki? Okay, we found it. So we just got for takeout. They specialize in cooked ham. So I saw in the display there is a bunch of good quality ham. They're famous during Christmas season, da. Oh yeah, ham. So this is their kikiam. As he described, the kikiam we know is usually just a small tusok tusok type, right? But this one is like a huge fish cake, almost like a whole fish cake size. It was 150. <laughs> Smells good. Mm. This is exactly tungguranti. It's a Korean side dish. It's like meatball but flat meatball. It's like meat pancake, tastes exactly the same. Kikiam usually it's like a fried um, dumpling almost, right? Usually kikiam, there's not much texture, right? It's just crispy because it's fried and it's more like the flavor lang. But this one, there's a very clear texture, very distinct texture. So yeah, this is like a ground pork plus shrimp flavor, but you can really taste on the pork and the shrimp. This one's not crispy at all, not at all. No need for the sweet sauce. No need, it's, it's um, it's good now. Almost salty a bit. This will be good with rice. Because we eat tonggrang thing with rice. I'll never know that this is kikiam. It's like a whole new dish. And it's actually really big because one bite, one bite, it's a lot. Like it's it's filling. This is a lot. So yeah, very, very good snack. There's a lot of trendy TikTok food here apparently also. So I just saw magic water. Oh yeah. Should we? Can we? One fifty only. One fifty? Kuya. Yes. Alam mo ba yung mga sobrang masarap na pagkain dito sa Kiapo? Yes. Ano? Sotanghon. Sotanghon. Yeah. That's really famous, talaga. You tried na? How many times? Five times. Five times? Oh. Tapos meron dito chicken biryani. Chicken biryani? Oh, meron. It's masarap. Masarap. Sobrang masarap. Oh, na na trending yun. Trending yun? Yeah. How many times did you go there, na kuya? Oh. We're going to chicken biryani, right? Really? 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 Okay, here now. Chicken biryani. Ito? Thank you, Kuya. Oh my god, guys. Biryani, 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 Sabi, 8 months na gano siya. Pero nakatira siya rin ito, 1995. Nandito na siya. 1995! Uy, grabe. And then, gano'ng katagal po mag-sale? Magbenta? 8 months. 8 months. You made it? Anong paboritong pagkain po kayo sa Pinas? Lahat? Adobo daw. Adobo, adobo. Alright guys, so this is the 150 pesos chicken biryani made by an authentic Indian. But he was here past since 1995 though. So he's Pinoy. Apparently this is really authentic but a bit shocking for me. Like in the middle of Kiapo where they're selling kikiam and tusok tusok, there's like Indian man selling chicken biryani. It's a bit random but um, let's see. But you know the sellers, they really recommended the chicken biryani. They said it's really good though. They also know that it's famous because when we ask, oh where's the chicken biryani? They all know where it is. Oh! 
It's fresh chicken. It just looks like it's a good quality chicken. I'm gonna try it with their rice. Mm. Smells like curry. Indian, Indian curry. Mm. Really good. No wonder why it's famous. It's very tasty. Wow. What? <laughs> That's a weird part of me. I don't like salt. Anyway, the rice, it tastes like curry rice, but it's the Indian curry, you know, the spicy Indian curry. Chicken tikka masala, that one, that curry. And then the chicken, it also tastes like curry. I don't know if the spicy flavor is coming from the chicken or the rice. The chicken is like so tender, very well cooked. No weird smell. They have cucumber pang. Mmm. This tastes like an authentic Indian food, really. It's probably homemade, right? And 150, that's I think a very good price. Knowing that he probably does it all alone. And I also love how it's not too salty as well. Really, for me, if it's not too salty, then that's already more than average for me. And then the chicken's fresh, very well seasoned. Even if it's been out for a while or something, it's still quite fresh. It's not that much of a typical flavor. It's good. What if I do that? Like just sitting and then my 150 peso meal. Double give meal. Mm -hmm. Give me your rice. Yeah. Oh, good. Really good. Oh, what is that? Really? You know, I feel like I have to try like market mukbang. There are so many food I haven't tried. Where do you think they sell water? Water? Or like. Oh, oh there, 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 there. Guys, you drink muna. Ate. My recommendations po kayo yung mga dessert dito sa Quiapo. Na sobrang masarap. Dessert? Or yeah, drinks? Ano? Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit? Plaza Miranda. Plaza Miranda. Have you been there Dra na? Dragon fruit juice. You tried na? Is it masarap ba? Masarap. Is it more masarap yeah. than this? Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Jessica Soho was here. Oh! <laughs> Another confession. I'm not a fan of dragon fruit. So let's try. It's 50 pesos. Oh, Tagalog po. <laughs> Pinoy, Pinoy. Kano ka tagal po kuya? Last year. Last year lang. Grabe. Wow. Sino yung pinaka kaganda ng vlogger? Jessica Soho. Jessica Soho? Talaga 24 hours. Unang hiri TV show lang. Wow. Grabe. Sobrang sikat bakit? Good talaga. The famous. Even Jessica Soho had this. Is it masara ba? Masara. Hmm. It tastes like something you've never tasted it before. The reason why I'm not a fan of dragon fruit is because sometimes it tastes like radish. It doesn't taste like fruit. But this one, maybe they added sugar in here, but um, it's sweet enough, obviously, to juice. And the dragon fruit flavor is not like that strong. Like, I think they mix milk in here and stuff, so it also tastes like iskrambo. It tastes more like iskrambo for me, like 50% iskrambo, 50% dragon fruit. They blend well together. Thank you. Thank you. Kuya! I got it. Am I too loud? Kuya, may alam mo ba dito sa Kiyako, sobrang masarap na ibang-ibang dessert. Meron, aso tangon. Aside from that, because I tried na. Paborito mo? Hopia, Master Hopia. Hopia. Excellent ham. Yung Hopia, did you did you try the Hopia? Yeah. Is it masarap? Hopia, Hopia, baboy. Ah, kabila. Is it good, the Hopia? Yes, good. Masarap talaga? Top 10. Top 10? Yes, top 10. Top 10 dito sa Kiyako? Oh, here! <laughs> Master Hopia. We have said it's top 10, as in among the food you should have in Tiapo, this is in top 10. The vibe of this place, like the lighting and everything, it's like, I mean, Binondo. Oh my god. Thank you, Kuya. Perfect. Hopia for me is more ube. Like I think of ube inside, but they said the classic one is mongo talaga. Where? Where? Ah! It's okay na. Ipis lang. Ipis lang. Masarap talaga? Top 10. Mmm. One similarity. Everything I had here today, it's not too salty nor too sweet. Including the drinks. 
And based on my guess, is that you know there are a lot of older people here also. That's why there are also like a lot of optic stores and stuff. I think that's why all the seasons here are not that like salty. If you go to BGC, for example, like commercialized places, and you try like the restaurants, the food there, everything's really salty, sweet. It's very strong on the flavors. But here, everything is um, really well balanced. It's really all like home cooked, including this. This one, very simple. It's like the whole piece flavor we all know of, except it's not sweet at all. What's being highlighted more is the nutty flavor of the bean, of the mongo. Like you can really taste the mongo. My grandma would love this. It's good. Goes well with the dragon fruit juice. <laughs> My gesture was just get one, right? <laughs> but that's good. Alright guys, so my favorito of the Ikiapo episode is... Aling Wawai. I have to say that every single food I had here have a similarity in a way that they're not just all salty and sweet like the commercial food we can find. Each food has its characteristic, just like the Sotang Hon. So I just really love my food tour here in Kiapo and the reason why I chose Aling Wawai was it, it was just like my soul food. The flavor itself is very very simple and it's something that you have tasted already but just how it was served and the amount and most importantly the price and everything was just really good like I want to have another bowl right now it was so good really like it was my comfort food almost like my España Ankong it's almost that level favorito really I really enjoyed it the rest of the food were also great so yeah you guys should visit Kiapo for some market food tour because the vibes here are also really great last thing I have to say is that even if it was a very crowded market it wasn't as dirty and that is because there are a lot of trash can now like on the street it's numbered I saw a number like 80, so I'm thinking there's like 80 plus trash cans laid out in this area. So that's also one improvement in these kind of markets in the Philippines that I was happy to see. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Pabrito episode and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.